I'm doing this video today to further explain uh, the four-wheel drive system um, that you'll have in your basic truck or any type of vehicle where it's uh, where it ha does have a transfer case and you can shift in and out of four-wheel drive. So I'll just uh, shift this one out of four-wheel drive right now. There's four low. There's four high. Sorry, I'm struggling with. There's two, my two high there. So when I'm in two wheel drive, you'll see that my power comes from the engine here through my standard transmission. And then it pretty much bypasses the transfer case. It goes straight through, okay, to the rear differential. Um, power is transmitted through these U-joints. And the way these U-joints are set up on this trainer, it shows a fairly strong extreme angle there. What you need to understand about U-joints is that when they're nice and straight, like this one is here, you'll get a nice smooth transition of the power. And when you have angles that are extreme, like this one here and this one here, these are fairly extreme angles. Um, you're not gonna have smooth transmission of that force. It's kind of like using a universal joint on a socket and the stronger angle that you make on that swivel or that universal joint, um, the harder it is for you to turn. So my rear axle shafts are turning. They appear to be nice and smooth, but what you don't see is some type of internal struggle happening with this angle, okay? When I move that over into four wheel drive, and this is four high, and I engage this chain to turn the front drive shaft, I've introduced another front axle to this four wheel drive system. I have another angle with another, you know, maybe not a perfectly dr straight drive shaft going on here. When you drive a vehicle in four wheel drive, especially on a dry highway in the winter time in Canada without any snow, you just notice your truck doesn't quite handle the same, okay? That's because when we're in two wheel drive and we bring this power through to the differential, these two tires can ultimately turn at different speeds. And the reason they can is that they have a differential. You can actually turn one side separate from the other and what you get is these axle side gears and pinion gears turning, making up for that. But when I introduce another axle, like on the front, this drive shaft is trying to turn these tires at the exact, at the exact same speed as these tires. So back and front. The problem is, is that our tires wear differently on four wheel drive vehicles or actually on all vehicles. The ones on the front turn. And because they turn and they have different suspension, our tires wear differently too at different rates. Okay. So what's really important about a four wheel drive tire or four wheel drive tires sorry, tires on four wheel drive vehicles is that they are all exactly the same size, same size and then same rate of wear. So rotating the tires are very important on a four wheel drive, on a four wheel drive vehicle, keeping the same tread depths all the way around. And unfortunately, when you have a blowout on one tire, you need to change all four together. If you don't, that can cause a lot of, um, I like to say as this axle fighting with that axle. And the loser in this match is the differentials, the drive shaft and the transfer case, everything that's holding it solid. When these wheels are slightly different sizes than those wheels, 
there's going to be some binding, there's gonna be some arguments and someone has to be the loser. So whether it be your bearings that are the ones that take the brunt of the pain, the transfer case, it's gonna seek out your vehicle's weak point. Now, on your vehicle being in four wheel drive, it's all great the way this trainer's set up because it has no mechanism for steering. In your vehicle, you're going to have a CV axle that is allowed to turn to go around corners. And you could also have an, an angle on this. So the bigger angle you have on your CV shaft, the more rough your transmission's going to be, the transmission of force. And when you turn, you can see the problem that you'll have transmitting the force of this into a perfectly round force there. For that reason is why driving around the city in four wheel drive of your four wheel drive truck can be difficult. Parking in tight spots you'll find difficult. And if we go back enough years on four wheel drive vehicles before we had CV shafts, all we had was U joints for this joint up here. And U joints were much worse than CV axles for smoothly transferring force. So what you need to know is this, vehicles with selectable four wheel drive are not meant to be left in it. They were really designed for you to get stuck first or to be on a very slippery surface and then be in four wheel drive. All wheel drive is a separate entity together and I'm not gonna touch on that in this video, but just knowing that there's no give in any of these parts. That rear axle is linked solid with this front axle, with the motor, with the transmission. Um, you have to understand if your tires are different sizes or you're doing a lot of turning on dry pavements and stuff, the road is going to create the friction that's going to fight with your vehicle and the road doesn't lose. What usually loses is your tires. Your tires slip, your tires spin, your tires skid. They wear and it gets worse. But things like your clutch, things like your pinion and ring gears could be the, the ones that lose out on that fight. Anyways, I hope that fully under, uh, explains why you need those four same size tires on your four wheel drive vehicle and maybe why it just doesn't handle quite the same as your buddy's all wheel drive vehicle or simply this truck changes big time when we just put it in two wheel drive.